boxing fans turned out to see their young Olympic gold medal winner. He did not disappoint anyone, easily winning his professional debut with a flashing unanimous decision. And the winner, Hector Clay! If you ask the average white person who's the greatest two fighters ever lived, he'll say Jack Dempsey or Marciano. If you ask the Italian, he'll say Benvenuti, which is nature. If you ask the average black man on the streets, he'll say Jack Johnson. Uh, you may hate to admit it because he's black, but he was one of the greatest. And after Jack Johnson, every kid all over the world, every planet Earth knows the name Joe Lewis. The name Joe Lewis is boxing. I always wonder when I went to church on Sundays. I always ask my mother, I said, Mother, how come is everything white? I said, why is Jesus white with blonde and blue eyes? Why is the Lord Supper all white men? Angels are white. I said, Mother, when we die, do we go to heaven? She said, naturally, we go to heaven. I said, well, what happened to all the black angels they took the pictures? At 188 pounds, I said, oh, I know. If the white folks was in heaven, too, then the black angels were in the kitchen preparing the milk and honey. <laughs> So I always wondered why, you know, Tarzan is the king of the jungle in Africa, he was white. Everything was white, and the angel food cake was the white cake, and the devil food cake was the chocolate cake. Young Jackie's play takes another large step up the heavyweight ladder. And everything bad was black. The little ugly duck was the black duck, and the black cat was the bad luck. And if I threaten you, I'm gonna blackmail you. <laughs> Mama, why don't they call it white male? They lie too. <laughs> Gorgeous George, a famous American wrestler. He was talking about, I am the prettiest wrestler. I am great. Look at my beautiful blonde hair. Real conceited and arrogant. He said, he said, George, what if you lose? If I lose, I'm catching the next jet out to Russia. <laughs> I looked at him, I said, boy, he needs a good whooping. <laughs> and I saw all of those people come to see Gorgeous George to get beat. And they all paid to get in. That's the thing. They paid to get in. And I said, this is a good idea. <laughs> and right away I start talking. I am the greatest. I won't return to the United States for 90 days. I'm too fat. If you talk jobs, you'll fall in five. Bill Jones beat me on a pile of clothes laying on my knees, kiss his feet, tell him he's the greatest go to Idlewild Airport and catch the next jet out of the country. But me it was a little different. He said, the nigga talks too much. <laughs> he talks too damn much. Put your fist in his mouth. I heard it rain sound. Knock that nigger out. That nigger needs a good whooping. Bring up the nigger man, Mr. Sergeant. Cassius Clay. Cassius Clay is telling some of the people who are going to the session. Yell, scream, throw peanuts, but whatever you do, pay to get in. You come into the ring with a crown on your head. Is that because I am the king? Now, I understand you have a queen of England, but you don't have a king. Were you shocked when you were booed into the ring by the British public? No, I was not shocked. I'm always booed. Everywhere I go, I'm booed. I like to be booed. That's why I fight hard. Let's march, 